Okay guys, this is it. I finally managed to get to a point where I've caught up with myself. Um, although I lost a bit of work, it's all good. So we've got ship cores. Over here we've got power recharges. Uh, we have plex storage. You'll notice there's two runs. One is using a micro assembler to make the item and the other is using a capsule refinery. The idea being if you put scrap in this one, it'll make it. And if you put capsules in this one, it'll make it from the generics, leaving the capsules behind for you to siphon out with another storage, which I'll put in later, to pick up the, uh, all the capsules. If we look at this one here, we've got power storage being made. And here are the repair bots. Down below, we have all of the basic hull. So it's mostly these two that are gonna get used because all of the others actually require a hole to make but I just wanted it to look good <laughs> um, <clears throat> so what I'll probably do is just change this slightly to make the uh, different cuts of hull uh, the idea with the doors is that they animate with, with a uh, clock on the station that we're going to put in last so that uh, when things are actually being used it sort of animates and then when things aren't being used it stops and then you can visually see if the machine is running as well um, over here we've got salvage computers and salvage cannons uh, and over here more cuts of hull so mostly it's going to be these and these the, these two that are going to be running the most probably mostly with this one but yeah so as as items are put into here or come into here from other places it should start to work with a single clock on the whole station but we'll see about that. <laughs> it probably won't work. Anyway, down below we've got room for stuff. And then next door we have metal grills, metal grill wedges, uh, more metal grill wedges. Like I say, most of these are a capsule refinery and micro assembler. So I've got a place to put the scrap. Um, I didn't have any way of putting in a docking module so I've just used some blue rod lights and I'll put a uh, I'll put display blocks on all of these to indicate what it actually is. Over here we've got thrusters. I thought that was pretty obvious, just a pile of thrusters. I think I might make it more showy like these ones. Um, but I think I did these quite early on. <clears throat> I think that's every component on the ship. Um, the only one really that was in standard was this. So it does need green crystal to make that one. But that's easy to siphon out. And then over here we have my blueprints, which I will fill up and keep here ready to spawn. So if I ever want to get a ship, just come down here, pick it up, and run outside. Okay, so that's pretty much it so far for the uh, crafty salvager station and uh, the shipyard that it is and has become. I'll give you more updates as we continue building it. Um, the idea will be that eventually I'll just dump everything in one storage and then the station will do the rest. And then it will give me loads of items which I can then spawn in. More of these salvages. Because I've pretty much been giving them away to new players. So I'd like to do that legit rather than use admin commands to give them away. Um, so yeah. That's as far as we've got, so I'll see you next time, and thanks for watching.